Hello and welcome back. My name is Volt with Reductus. Uh, today we are doing something a little bit different. I got another uh, guest with me. Uh, my my nature introducing yourself. What's up, guys? Uh, this is a show on the sticks today. <laughs> yeah, uh, we're playing um, Castlevania: Sifi the Night. Uh, wanna 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 tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, I mean, um, OG OG retro, gamer. Yeah, retro gamer all the way, man. Uh, yeah. Hannah DJing, you know, we did that a little bit yesterday. I was, you know, throwing some drum and bass. It's one of the things I love to do, uh, along with playing, you know, video games, you know, and, and specifically uh, the the genre of choice, or should I say the, the IP of choice for me has always been Castlevania. Cause always, Castlevania, always Castlevania. It's, it's, it's just, it's embedded in me. It's, it's in my bloodlines, you know, and, and I've been playing it since I was a wee lad and now I'm still playing it to these years over 36 years going on almost going on 40 years playing castlevania well i shouldn't say that i say i picked it up maybe when i was like at six or yeah yeah and, seven but and uh and uh and, uh, and uh, here's some here's some small 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 reductive lore for a uh, for your boy volt is that is that is that homeboy here is like my mentor my master he taught me everything that i know when it comes to these old fucking games and i'm like a rare breed of newer generation that knows these type of games and uh uh Came back here, do so, a so classically trained. You can, yeah, you can yeah, say, yeah, yeah. So, so I decided to do uh, to do an episode here before be, uh, before the channel goes and moves in two different directions. And uh, let's uh, let's kick this shit off. We're playing. Uh, I already said it. Castlevania: Sifted yeah. Night. One of one of the best, one of the greatest the Castlevanias ever. One of the greatest games ever. Yeah. Ninety seven. Here we are. Twenty one. Shit. God damn. It, it's funny you say that because it's still debatable. There's still that divide between uh, the the classic Castlevania and the Metroidvania. Okay. It's but such like, a but big like, divide. but like, but like, what was like the last? <sighs> what do you think people's most common favorite Castlevania is? Probably, I would say out of the, it'll be the NES trilogy. Probably Curse of not Curse of Darkness, uh, Dracula's Curse. Dracula's Curse. You know what? You're right. You're right. I I hear I hear a lot of people liking. Uh, a Dracula's Curse, and you and you see it now, like in YouTube, you know, YouTube gaming, you know, you see that game pop up all the time. Yeah, you know, and I I stayed away because of the difficulty. I mean, it was, <laughs> dude, it, it was dude. just ridiculous, and then you know, but it's now it's like what I thirst for. It's what I yearn for that 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 challenge. You know, that retro challenge. You know? Um, same same goes with the, uh, because you have Castlevania two. Yep. And Castlevania three, I feel like I feel like those two are on like a pretty high pedestal. Yeah, yeah. I um, I don't hear many people talking about uh one too often, maybe because that game's actually fucking hard. Yeah. And it, it like it is an older older game, and I don't know. I know I feel like I feel like two uh, two and three are talked about the most, and then my personal favorite has to be Super Castlevania four. Like I can always oh, yeah. throw back on that one. Everybody loves that one. That one's good. And then and then what's your what's your personal favorite? See, I typically go for some of the ex obscure ones, you know, like uh like Castlevania sixty four, or um. Man, what's 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 another weird one? Uh, Dracula X. A lot of people don't like Dracula. Oh, X, dude, you know? yeah. People prefer Rondo of Blood, but I grew up with Dracula X, and I still hold that one in, in high regard. Um, I like the ones on PS2, both of them, and th those are great to me. But those don't get a lot of praise. You know, a lot of people are like, "Oh, those are trash." But you know, I mean, even I mean, I'll even you know tip 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 my hat to uh, Lord of Shadows. You know, I mean, oh, dude, dude, uh, we've we've talked about this before, but but Lord of Shadows is a good fucking game. It's a good game. It's a it's 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 a beautiful game. Sure, it might be a fucking God of War knockoff, oh, yeah. but it's a good it's a God of War one. knockoff. I mean, I can't say much for the second one. I'm still trying to get through that one, but that one's a, uh, that's a you rough patch. you haven't beat the second one. I haven't beat the second one. We get to the stealth part, and we're like, "This is a Metal Gear. If I want to go play Metal yeah. Gear, I want to go play Metal Gear." Yeah, I'm like, I'm wondering if that's if that's like a Kojima thing or something. I don't know. You I, know? I I don't think he actually did any any storyboarding or scripting. He had no kind of like I I, like I don't I, I don't think he did. I think yeah. I think I think at that point he was like, "Yeah, I'm not I'm not fucking Konami at this." Like I think I think he's pushing away. All right, I think we should we should play this game. Now. Yeah, man. So, so I, w I wanted to ask you before we like started this whole thing. What do you think that is an image of? Is it like the pavement of the, the castle somewhere? Uh, I it, always figured it was like a tombstone or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah. That that actually. Is you know, you cool. know what would be like some dank like lore if for what it could be. Yeah. If uh uh, uh if it was Alyssa's um grave. Oh yeah. That would that would that would be deeply sad. That'd be crazy. 
That would that would um I'm I'm I'm, I'm referencing uh, Alucard's um mother, uh, Dracula's wife. Who she died. All right, guys. Uh, uh, we're gonna do the uh, we're doing a Richter run today. Yeah, yeah. So, man, how do we even? Oh yeah, yeah. Because just like for a quick one shot. To, uh, to do a Richter run. Sadly, we spent like a good two hours oh, just yeah. just trying to finish uh, uh, no, the no. main game, the main, <laughs> the main campaign. Yeah, yeah. Just, just to get to this point. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm going to turn up my audio. Okay. Yeah, I was, uh, I was, uh, Man, I forgot what I was gonna say. God damn it! Oh, but the sprite animation in this fucking game. Yeah, it's really it's so good. Amazing. I mean, I do have my my, my gripe about it because you know, these sprites were from uh, Rondo of Blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. They were uh, they are ported, but uh, it's not it's not as bad as. Um, did you uh, did you finish Portrait of Ruin and uh, play uh, uh, the uh, Richter and Maria mode? Actually, no. Uh, I, I, I never I never finished that. Oh, uh, dude, it looks kind of bad. Is it bad? <laughs> uh, it's not that bad, but like the coloring, like like it like it's like this bright in Portrait of Ruin and like. Um, oh, I, I um, get what you're saying. Um, um in uh, in Portrait of Ruin, the characters are less saturated. Yeah. And uh, and they stand out quite a bit, and also too like their scaling, like their size. S sizes don't quite fit uh, Charlotte and uh, Jonathan. Right. Ah, good old, good old Symphony of the Night soundtrack. Um, who, uh, who was the composer again? I, I don't remember. Oh man, I, I forget. Like I honestly, I, I should know this. You know, I, I do. As 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 much as we play it and <laughs> listen to it. I mean, hell, I even bought the vinyl. You know, and I, I still don't know who the artist is. Hold on, hold on. I I got you just to just to pay tribute. Over here, fake gamers. Yeah, right. I mean, just like I forget the name of the artist too. We do some of the the box art and stuff like that. You know, I always forget her name. Oh, that's a uh, that's a uh... Konami. No, no, not not Konami. Kojima. Is it Kojima that did the art? Yeah. You sure? T t to Symphony of the Night. Oh, hey, hey. I thought her name was like Ayame or something like that. No, no, it, uh, 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 it starts with a K. I, I always get it confused. I, I, I always get it confused. It goes the smoother save animation. I, I still remember how it looked like on the PS1, man. It was just all like, it just, it just look weird. Is that, is that the only time it uses like, uh, not polygons, uh, for, uh, for its animations? Oh yeah, like a like 3D like yeah you know probably yeah that's like the only time it does it. I mean you can actually see it in the background of some of the levels, like uh, Orlok's quarters in that in the, where that fountain is at. If you uh, if you're jumping over the buildings, you can see like the buildings are actually 3D models too. Oh okay okay so uh, uh, yeah I was right uh, the the artist is uh, Ayami Kojima. There you go. See I remember I remember her name. Um. And now we gotta look up the uh, fucking composer. Composer, yeah. So the Alchemy Laboratory, like, makes you wonder what kind of stuff Dracula be doing up in here, you know? Oh man, you know for a fact, uh, Dracula be cooking up the dank shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, is there some experiments, some abominations, or something? I've 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 always had a weird fascination with this room right here with the uh, sub weapons. Yeah, that that is just it seems kind of random in a way. <laughs> it super is random, and uh, yeah. this is the only time that 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 those sprites or vials or whatever they are are, are used. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, are actually used. Oh, uh, go, go up. There goes there goes one of the unique weapons ah. to this game. Where, where's that? What is that? Oh, the dog was oh, oh, so. oh, oh, a friend dog. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 anyway, what the heck's that thing called? The, uh, the lightning gun. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I was using earlier, man. It just eats hearts, man. Even for Richter, who only has a, you know a cap of like ninety nine. That's not really a good weapon to use. But uh, let's that go. thing never made of uh, a very appearance, did it? No, I haven't seen it in anything else. I mean, maybe. I mean, you know, there's there's still quite a bit of Castlevania I still have yet to explore. Like I'm just barely like kind of 
getting into the lore of some of the enemies and stuff. Like, you know, we were talking about the Cthulhu, Cthulhu guy and how, like, uh, they changed his name to Devil and stuff, you know. And I was reading a little bit about him in other games and stuff like that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's he called in here? Cthulhu? Yep. Yeah. Cthulhu, the, mis the and mis he, uh, and he's And he's not even, like... He's not even the sprite you think that looks like Cthulhu. Yeah. He's, uh... The one that looks like Cthulhu is called um, the Malachi. Yeah, but but it's weird. And uh, and a uh, Portrait Ruin. The reason why I'm bringing a Portrait Ruin so much is because that's the actual last one that I played. Um, but that same sprite for whatever is is called Cthulhu. Oh really? Yes, I'm I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure it is. And uh and uh, and uh, that's why it bugs me a little bit. I don't know, like. Casfina is weird when it comes to naming their monsters. Oh yeah, but I mean, I think it falls back on translation as well, and you know, just. Oh yeah, no, that's that that's definitely a uh, a huge factor is is translation issues, whether whether they go and do it properly or just go, eh, this name will do just fine. <laughs> just put whatever on yeah. there, just call them, you know, whatever. Uh, by the way, the uh, composer for Sif the Night is uh, I'm not gonna try to pronounce that here. Michiro Yam Yana, uh, Yaman, Yamani. There you go. What a gal. Fucking master. The um, the composers for the first one, it was two chicks. Was it? And they alternated between levels. Oh, oh man, that's like the that's like the Mega Man uh Mega composers. Man. There's like three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I remember I remember for like Mega Man Ten. If you if you go listen to it, there's like. I want to say there's three. They're like I, I, I think there's like three or four composers that actually work on it. And if you listen to every single song, they like distinctly sound like they're done by a different person. <laughs> <laughs> you can literally point out, oh, this is done by the person who did the the first Mega Man. This is the person who did the third Mega Man. God, man, that's a whole another series we can get into, man. It's so crazy. I mean, like Castlevania, I think would be like the tip of the iceberg for us because there's so much other crap. That we've played over the years that that just are just so in depth you know like even like with you with resident evil that's just like the iceberg right there oh know? yeah yeah, just yeah. So Every, much... I, everyone who knows this channel knows that like i'm a huge resident evil fan you know i played uh the re remake i played re2 for its anniversary I'm playing re8 right now that's always a good game to play re2 man i mean that's i love just throwing that in just casually and just running through it's just so it's to me it's like stress relieving you know it's stress like relieving. Oh, it's uh, like almost therapeutic in a way real quick can you can you hear hold on might want to turn down your audio i uh, i could hear it over here oh it's 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 feedback and it's yeah like, holy crap how do we turn it down remote oh, tv there you go but yeah man fucking fucking re2 that's that's like the best way to put it there is that's better it's uh it's it, it's a therapeutic yep great story great voice acting <laughs> everything <laughs> is a plus s tier a duh <laughs> <laughs> almost as bad as, as dante's uh what is it you're i wanted to be your light or something oh like hold on that. hold on man i put it i put it in a video i put it in a in a one of one of my order videos for I think it was DMC five whenever I oh, made the it? like makeup episode. Um I could have put your dark soul with light 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 See it's S class man it's 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 top tier. You could you cannot get any better voice acting. And that's like the that's like the the voice acting for RE one. Barry <laughs> Barry Oh, and then you know the infamous uh, voice line. You're almost a chill sandwich. Oh yeah, I, everybody loves that one. Yeah, I need to. I, I need to play that game for that uh, for the uh, the channel eventually. Maybe I'll do it like the next anniversary. Man, dude, Ari Ari one. I think I think what Ari one hit hit thirty five years not too long ago. I think. The heck no. <laughs> what was it thirty years? <laughs> no, because the. <laughs> oh no, because yeah, you're. you're I'm twenty five. That's right. So it's almost there then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, uh, even whenever I played, 
uh, uh, RE2 for its anniversary. I was like, yeah, technically, I should have been playing RE1, but I was like, RE2 is cool, though. Yeah. It's more... I don't know. It's just, I guess not... I shouldn't say flushed out. Well, kind of. With its characters and stuff and its story. I mean, part, part one was kind of... I don't know. I it's 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 good. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's slower, much slower, and a lot harder. Harder. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I will say part, think, part uh, one as a, as a kid did did scare me. Yeah, I think I think I think um, part one for RE is a really good game to play at night. Like you're right, you're right. That's exactly the perfect time to play, like late night. You know. And like and like and and I don't specifically mean just to have it scary or like oh, yeah, no. e like but like it 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 just feels right it, it's almost like it's almost like watching night of the living dead like in the middle of the night you know it's an old like you know zombie flick you know kind of cheesy you know you know it, it just felt it just has that that uh, aesthetic about it you know where it's like you could you could watch something like that late night or play something like that late night you know it's just one of those games and yeah there's nothing to do with like the fear factor or anything like that yeah that's like that's like the uh other day that i was over here uh, uh playing sunny hope for y'all oh yeah that yeah. was cool that game still blew my mind dude you were going through it and i was dude like, dude dude that game was blowing my mind as i was going through i forgot so much shit that happened in that game like 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 i like i don't know if you saw it uh or or, or if you caught it at night when it, whenever i got to the sewer I think that's where I stopped. I think that's where, yeah, I, where I, I ended up Dude, going. I totally forgot about that section. And then, and then like, these weird, like, lizard men started showing up and climbing on oh, the ceilings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do remember that. And it's funny because uh, uh, I played through Silent Hill 1 a good, like, a good few times. Like, almost... Uh, I, uh, I want to say almost as much as Resident Evil 2, but I played a shit ton of Resident Evil 2. I, I, I played so much yeah. RE2. And I don't mean the remake. I'm talking about, you know, OG. The OG, yeah. Yeah. Uh, R2. Good fucking game. Good yeah. fucking game. Silent Hill is, is really good. That's, that's And unfortunately, I haven't beaten it, but since I've seen, like, no, wa uh, wa watching you play it. Uh, I thought you beat uh, the first one. Not the first one, but since I've watched you that last time, I barely, I'm starting to realize how close I was. Like, I'm, like, right there. I'm, like, maybe a couple minutes into it, and that's it. I, I'll finish it. Cause remember you went through that puzzle and I had that puzzle uh, oh, solved, save, solved on my your phone. phone. Yeah. Uh, uh, from like what 2015 or something like that. Yeah, it was something <laughs> like that when I last played it. That that was actually hilarious because because you were telling me that like that the uh, uh you used to look at uh, at that note and be like what the hell is this for? Yeah, I uh, would see it saved in there. I'm like, what was I doing with this? What is? It's just it was a weird note. It was like sky blue, something red. Like it had different objects that were different colors and i had no idea what the hell it was for and then finally here you are playing it and i'm like holy crap this is what it was for <laughs> it, it finally connected five years later yeah right uh i think i think sunny hole is almost as old as resident evil if not uh, older might be right there close to it yeah. oh like there goes Cthulhu. Yeah, there, there it goes. Took him out like nothing. Even though the real Cthulhu probably would have just blinked me out of existence. Honestly, and then no, no, no. Uh, 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 other thing with with actual Cthulhu is, uh, um, you look at that guy and you just go insane. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's true. Just, just, j just simply looking at him, will 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 drive you insane. Another reason for me to play Bloodborne. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the game purely uh, surrounded or um, inspired by a... Solely, almost solely entirely on Lovecraft. Yeah. Man, that's another thing, too, that, like, I haven't really, like, touched upon is, is any kind of Lovecraft uh, lore or stuff like that, yeah. you know? Just, I've always admired from afar. I never, like, really delved into it. I think, like, I think, I think, I think that's how, like, a lot of people uh, are whenever they, like, get into Gothic core. They obviously start with, you know... Lo, uh, I, uh, I want to say that Poe starts it all. Yeah. Yeah, and then and, and, and then everyone naturally builds off uh, into into uh, what's the what's the what's the writer's name? Uh, H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, and then uh, and then slowly they start going into other uh, Gothic artists. They after that I can't list a few because my brain's stupid. <laughs> um. But yeah. But uh, how, how many times have you? How much did you think you played uh, Symphony Night here? Wow, dude. 
it's 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 one of those titles like did you did, did you first own it or rent it from blockbuster uh no I, this one was never was never a rental like originally I, I bought it from from one of my cousins and you know because he's the one that kind of he's the one that kind of got me into it uh he would rent it from blockbuster and eventually like you know he bought it and you know we were playing it like every freaking time we hung out and uh I don't think I bought this game until I finally got a PS1, and even then it was a few years after. I want to say I was probably a freshman in high school when I finally got my own copy of it and, and started playing it just non-stop, non-stop, and I, I, I can't even really count how many times I've, I've probably beaten this game. Do you, do you still have, like, an old save file from a memory card? No, like, I, I, I had one where, like, I was, like, a level 70 or close to level 80 and stuff and i forgot what happened in that save file i'm pretty sure that that memory card went kaput oh uh got i got corrupted or whatever something i'm you know those memory cards i think it was a third party one too yeah that that that, that kind of sounds about right yeah they don't they don't last forever so <laughs> it was like a wild cat or something like that yeah <laughs> yeah mad cats mad cats that's, there we that's go that's what it was yeah i'm pretty sure but uh yeah, I don't think I have that save file anymore. But I mean, since then, I've, I've been constantly playing it and playing it. I mean, like, just like with Resident Evil 4 we were talking about the other day, we got like six different copies on like, you know, four or five different, you know, consoles and stuff like that. Dude, played, played RE4 on every console ever. Yeah, right? Like, I, remember, I remember when this game got released for the 360, man. That was like, as soon as I hit the store, boom, bought it, Downloaded beat it. it. Yeah, it was just... <laughs> Got, got all the achievements. That was the only game on the 360 where I got all the achievements. Really? <laughs> yeah. uh, I think I think I think I've told you before, but the only game that I like, no, no, there's two games that I've 100 percented, and that was Dead Space 2. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, because I fucking love Dead Space 2, and you still gotta show me that foam that foam handgun. Uh, I still want to see that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Cause I've I've never played part two like I've I've played a little bit of it but I, I haven't played much much of it. Yeah, man. Whenever you shoot, he goes pew pew pew. pew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. I, I I completely forgot about that. Holy shit. Um, and then and then the the other game that I wanted to present it was uh, Under Nightmare. Oh, that's badass. Uh, on, on the PS3, but my save file got corrupted, and I and I lost everything for some reason. I have no idea what happened, God. but I was. I tried. I tried doing it again, but uh, Under Nightmare just didn't work the same. Yeah, uh, 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 that's what I was gonna start going into after, after you you were uh, finished what you were saying. I was like, man, that game right there. That's a whole another. That's a whole episode for you if you wanted to <laughs> on just the glitches and, and the bugs, <laughs> Dude, man. Dude, that game is. Uh, what uh, fucking rocks are they destroyed the perfectly it, good hey, game. Hey, it was good while it lasted. Let's put it that. <laughs> put it that way. Uh, I. Uh, and it, it, it's to me, it just boggles my mind. It's like you know, Rockstar knows there's people still playing these games. You know, it's like why would you not patch it? You know, why would you not fix fix those issues? Because I mean, it, it, it's it's game breaking, really. You know, and it, uh, 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 actually, also too, I like how Victor's uh, holy water in this one isn't the single fire. It's it's the wave. Yeah, yeah, I, I love that too. That'd be cool if you like smash it on the floor with his fist and then it made a wave. <laughs> You can see the eyeball in the background there. I always wondered, what the hell is that? Like, uh, why doesn't it come through the glass and try to kill me? It just stays there. I was thinking maybe the peeping eye, but... Yeah, see, see, that's 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 what I always, like, I push it off to. Um, I'll just do real quick, so I know, uh, uh, typically, I, uh, uh, I record in a smaller room. I'm in a much bigger area than I usually am. <laughs> so you might hear, like, AC going, uh, doggo, uh, slight reverb, but, eh. Yeah, I, I just deal with it. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I thought we're, you were going to want to try to record in the uh, in the game room, which uh, that might have been a, probably a better area to do. Uh, that, yeah, but no TV. Yeah, that's true. That's uh, true. no, no, no HDMI TV. Not, not unless we use your little uh, uh computer monitor. No, no, that thing's not HDMI. That really? Thing, that thing's straight VGA. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. School. That's right. I mean, I could have brought I could have brought my Sony in there. See, look, 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 we, we could have just done that right there. My uh, my little oh. computer monitor. <laughs> yeah, we could have just played with that. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funny. Garbage setup right there. Oh. No, because then because then I would have to split the audio for the for the computer, and I fucking hate oh, doing yeah, that. Yeah. 
if like 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 it frustrate uh, uh it frustrates the shit out of me splitting audio for um for a PC, even though it shouldn't. But for me, technology just need to work 100. <laughs> percent Dude, dude, I, I I have such bad luck when it comes to technology. Like I swear, like I will I will be like, all right, this is what I want to do. It should be this simple. I go to do it, and it does whatever it wants to, and then I spend there like. To be honest it. with you, I have the same experience yeah. with, with, with technology, bro. It's like you sit there an hour trying to figure it out, get frustrated, and then what you finally figure out, it's like the simple. It's like the simplest shit ever. Yeah, pretty much. That's how, that's how it goes. Oh, who we got here? Um, doppelganger, right? Is it a doppelganger? Yeah. Yeah, it should have been a doppelganger of Richter, to be honest with you, instead of Alucard. Do you fight Alucard? Yeah, you fight Alucard. No, I've 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 never done too much of uh of a Richter run. Here we go. Hydro Storm. Let's see what he does. Oh, oh he don't be a missed. chicken. Okay, cool. Oh shit. <laughs> it Whoa. is so ridiculous. <laughs> Where was the boss fight? Like, see, okay, like, okay, I'm gonna put this out there. I don't normally play like this. I will like legitimately <laughs> fight these guys. You know, I won't go for Hydro Storm. You know, I'll, I'll try to, like, you know, play like, you know, I'm supposed to. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's so, you know, right now it's, it's a time constraint, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, we only got so long, so I want to at least, you know, try to get as much covered as I can. Yeah, I I know, I know. I I, I actually <laughs> really love... Oh, dude, it's bugging. It's, uh, the it's, blue line. It's, yeah, so, so the chain is supposed to be centered, and it's supposed to be, like, colored like the stupid uh, elevator. But it's blue and off-centered, and it was doing that for whenever we were trying to complete the game so we could play as Richter. Uh, and it just stuck for some reason. I don't know why. The game's broken. Critical. Yeah. Even uh, though even though it's the most like recent version of it released, it's yeah. still buggy. Um, and uh, for any of you uh, Smash players that play Richter or know of Richter and Simon in a Smash, every every move that that the character has is from Sifu the Night. Yeah, pretty much. It's um, true. There, like, there is no other Castlevania where uh, a Belmont does moves like these. Yeah. Which, uh, whenever they first announced Belmont and they showed this shit off, I was like, holy shit! Like, my, like my mom was blown. Um, 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 seeing him do the uppercut. Uh, the oh, what would you cool. call this? Like forward dash. Like, yeah, it's just like, like a his, dash, really. Like his, Chain with it, it, it's called something though. Like I, I always forget what it's called. It's it's in the damn manual actually, like yeah. the PS1 manual. But yeah, I, it's just like a. I call, always call it a dash. I've never really came up with a name for yeah, it. Yeah, and then uh, uh, and then a slide and his backflip. Uh, te te technically he doesn't have his backflip in um, ultimate. I think I think you can do it manually. I never tried. That's a that's a good question. I, I wonder if he does do a backflip. I mean, I would imagine, yeah, if you press back and jump, he'll probably do it. Yeah. Or like a, a double jump, like yeah. if you back and jump, jump, and he'll probably do it like that. That's a, that's that's a, what I'm referring to. But uh, I was gonna point out, I like th th this is one thing that has always bugged me with the with the Castlevanias is is that um, Richard's move set here with the chain is a very uh, horizontal whip, and you could still do the the like. Whippy, spinny thing. Uh, can, uh, uh, can you angle the whip down? No, he no? doesn't whip down this one. No. But for some reason, in in um, uh, Super Castlevania Four, you can whip the the whip in any direction you want. But yet, in every Castlevania after that, yeah, you you couldn't do it. Well, actually, uh, uh, there in in Bloodlines, you could you could whip downwards. I forgot about that. And it, to me, it's not really utilized a lot. Actually, I, I take it back. And not only downwards, but you can whip diagonally. Like the downwards, I don't really utilize it that much. I can see where you can implement it, but uh, like, diagonal was for like I don't know if you knew that you could latch on to ceilings with, no, the, with the whip, no. and you can you could swing. I didn't. Like I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I didn't play too much of Bloodlines. Uh, That's another one I play a lot of. Dude. Bloodlines is to me Bloodlines is pretty damn good. I like that game. Who uh who would you say is, is the is, uh is the most powerful Belmont? See, so, that's funny. I was about to ask you. <laughs> who's, I was about to ask you who's your favorite Belmont? Who's my favorite Belmont? Simon. So from from what I gathered from the lore, Richter was supposed to be the strongest because every generation was stronger than the last supposedly. Okay, okay, because because I think I think I think in my opinion, who the strongest Belmont is has to be Julius. Actually, yeah, T technically. <laughs> After what I if you want to go after that. Af after what I just said, then yeah, it it, it would be Julius because I forget. I always forget about Julius. 
I shouldn't really go that way because that dude's just gonna have his back turned towards me. I'm not selling you anything. <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah, I always, I always forget about Julius, but he was pretty cool. He's got a cool theme, too. Oh, yeah. His theme, I think, was Heart of Fire. Yes. Yeah. Dude, good theme, man. That's a really good, good theme. Good theme. I mean, even the original Heart, Heart of Fire is good. So recently, I, I played uh, Haunted Castle, and Haunted Castle has always been one I've, I've tried to get to. I've never, like... I played it maybe once, like, prior to me buying it on the See, PS4. What the what the heck was Haunted Castle again? It was the arcade version of, of Castlevania. Like, it wasn't called Castlevania, it was, it, but it, 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 it is a Castlevania. It was by Konami, but it was like... I don't know what the hell it was supposed to be. If it was supposed to be, like, a spin-off or it was supposed to be a reboot or something like that. But Who was the main protagonist? Uh, I think it was Christopher. Christopher. Yeah, it was kind of... I think it was kind of based off of... Um, off of the adventure, the Castlevania adventure, where, uh -huh. you know, Christopher, uh, he's getting married to, I, f I forget his wife's name, but uh, during the wedding, that's when Dracula comes and, and snatches her. And uh, same thing with, with, with Haunted Castle. Like, it's the same, like, there's a cutscene in the beginning of it and stuff. And it was a, it was an arcade-only game, too. It was never, it was never reported to any consoles or anything like that. And I want to say it was... Oh, man. Oh, I wonder. I wonder if there's like an emulator of it uh, 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 at least. Oh yeah, no, no. It, it's on the PS4. Um, oh, on, on the store. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I found it. A, oh shit! A couple years ago, and I, I freaked out when I found it. I was like, holy shit! Because I don't know. It, I don't know what made me check the PS4, but I was looking for that game, and I was like, it's got to be a well, look, stuck. God dang! That's weird. You all right, homie? Uh, get him. Okay, can't do it. Anyway, so yeah, when I found that game, uh, it was you know. It tripped me out and stuff. And man, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I realized? What was making that noise? Like, because I was like, man, is this guy's headphones still loud? It's a stupid controller. Oh, you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Well, I can, I can cut the volume off of my controller. For yeah. Uh, uh, could you? Oh, look at this boss. That's gonna turn to uh, a mound of dust. Yeah. <laughs> a, a, a generic enemy later. At first, I thought you were talking about like clacking the buttons and stuff. Oh no, dude! There's uh, there's no fixing that unless you put like a blanket or a towel over, over your hands. But then if, you, if uh, um, if you do that, you know you're 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 gonna fucking cook. Yeah, that's true. Uh, because because a lot of uh, YouTubers I listen to, um, you you can always hear the keyboard or controller. Yeah. I, like like I don't I don't know any good way to uh, fix it. Go around, get around that. Yeah, um, dude, no, uh, um. Uh, it, uh, it was real bad. Uh, whenever I played the first episode of uh, Minoria, which, which is like a gothic, a, a gothic style, anime style, um, oh my god, Metrovania, uh, I was using this third-party uh, Xbox controller. Man, loudest fucking thing I've ever used. <laughs> like, 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 I tried my best to like hold the controller like way past, Away from the, yeah, the mic. yeah, past the microphone, and I was like super careful with the buttons whenever oh, I was pushing wow. it, because like whenever I play like regularly with the, with the, with uh, any uh, any of the other cast members or, or friends or whatever, mm -hmm. um, like 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 that thing is fucking clack, 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 like sound like a damn typewriter. <laughs> Like you're saving your progress in Resident yeah, Evil yeah, every time. Yeah, so so I I I I literally went out like the next day to go buy a a, a, a proper um Xbox controller because the one I had uh, had a, a stick trip like oh fucking, yeah uh, switch. Are we ever gonna get past this this you know drift that we got going? No, on? There's, no, there's, never, there's, man. There's, it's, it's an ongoing battle from what I can tell. I've I've personally never had to deal with that too often though. Yeah, but you. Are you mainly play on like uh, controllers, like like proper controllers. Yeah, that's true. Which which is like you know the way to go, but like, come on, man! Like, a lot of people use Joy Cons, you know, and and uh, and uh, people you know are uh, are already angry with uh, the fucking um, the uh, OLED or is it, uh, yeah the yeah I think it's still still broken, dude. This game's broken. Um, uh, the new Switch they're coming out with, everyone's already had their rant about yeah, well, it. You know. You're right, the OLED, uh, that, that thing. 
it to me i don't know that's just kind of a disappointment in a way like I, you know i'm not trying to like you know this on anybody's style you know if you like it that's that's your thing but i mean like man yeah, I, I think i uh, i think it's just solely to boost sales you know just yeah. to get some more money flowing like 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 nintendo needs it right like literally all uh all nintendo has to do is just shit out some, something random and people will buy it who do you think has more money disney or nintendo <sighs> oh fuck man <laughs> <laughs> fuck that's uh it's definitely more money than we're gonna see in any of our lives <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's 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 for damn sure but uh i'm gonna i'm gonna say probably disney yeah i, I don't know but my... i think nintendo's been around longer than disney dude uh yes uh uh uh, Nissan has been around for a very long time, but like, I want to say Nintendo, but sadly, I'm 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 going to say Disney because Disney, like, in the, in these past like couple of years, have just been making Dude. stupid amounts of money Dude. with with movies, animations, buying fucking everything they could get their dirty hands on. Star Wars, they bought Fox, didn't they? Um. Yeah, because they're they're making Aliens. I remember somebody on the internet bitching about Aliens because it's owned by Disney now. Oh shit! Yeah, and they're talking about you know I don't know what's coming out, but there's a bunch of rumors down the pipeline. You know, like there's supposed to be a series on Netflix or something, and there's supposed oh. to be another uh, another movie. Like this is my fucking jam right here. Yeah, it's a good one right here. Oh crap! Uh, well, oh, what was it called? Uh, Terrence Prince or like that? Uh, Tragic Prince. Tragic Prince. There you yeah. go. Yeah, the uh, the uh, arranged version or the remix is in uh, Smash Ultimate, and it's uh, pretty good. But I'm sad that they don't have the original version because once the double bass kicks in for the original version, it just it just goes so hard. <laughs> it, it goes it goes so fucking hard, and you just really feel it. It's like, double bass just goes off. True that. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, sing along, you fucking know it. Oh, know. yeah. It, this one's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, also, look at the fucking sprite animation that's going on right now. A lot of shit going on in, these, uh, uh, in this commentary. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, man, look at that. In the spikes. Are you freaking kidding me? Okay. We don't get the... You got the... Uh, uh, what got I call the, it? The fucking... The cigarette ashes. It's supposed to be holy ashes. <laughs> no, no, no. The uh, fucking... Uh, the league player. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some some of my other viewers will get that one. The holy ashes. What did the Pope die and he just took his ashes? And just I, I guess so. Yeah, that's what I could think of. Ashes from a, from a saint or something. Messed up. Ashes from an angel. Who knows? Come on. Oof. I've always found those guys pretty cool. They're pretty tough too. Don't they drop the? Ah um... oh, shit! I can't. Uh, not this white hander. Um... Uh, I know they dropped the Flamberg. Flamberg, there we go. That's a pretty good sword. You know, I think I think that's the, the that's like the real like name of that sword, by the way. Oh my god! Come on, these guys are so annoying. Armored. Fleeman. Yeah, armored Fleeman. Can't get down there. Oh my god. Oh wow. What it, why does the first one hit but not the other ones? Let's see. It's got to be the armor. Oh yeah, you're right. Bigger hitbox. Yep. <clears throat> Whatever. <laughs> Just uses a full ult on them. Not to be fair, like, you'll grab enough hearts to fold it up. Yeah. Heart, hearts are plentiful, so it's like, it won't be missed. I remember uh, asking you uh, uh, different ways uh, you would challenge yourself to play as if the night. Oh, and yeah. uh, and uh, I remember you responding with uh, with uh, doing a, uh, a a a a fire whip run. Basically a no sub weapon run. Yeah, that, I did it once and it, it was kind of hard. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, and uh, I remember you saying that the stupid fire whip's like the worst oh fucking thing ever. Oh my god, it sucks in this game. It's like, why even bother with it? You know, like it's a cool little animation when you do it too. Like he crosses his arms and stuff and he it, just. It, it really is like 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 you would think it'd be like the strongest thing to use because you're you're not picking up a fucking self weapon. Yeah. But no, it's not. Have you seen it in, in any of the other games like um, like Rondo of Blood and stuff like that? Like um, 
like with Rondo of Blood, it doesn't stay with you. It just like uh, you activate it, and he only he just strikes once with it. I think I think you can uh, do it in um, Dracula X Chronicles. Yeah, I think you could. Yeah, you're right. But I don't know if it's if it's one of those things where it just stays on, or if it's a one shot. I don't remember. In, in yeah. I want to say I want to say it's a one shot, but I, I bet you it's like like it stays on. Also, another good iteration of Rondo Blood, whatever version, <laughs> is, is, is a Jack Lex Chronicles. I, I've uh, I've played that uh, quite a few times. It's good. It's, yeah, it's, it's good. It's it, really it, good. It, uh, it holds up to this day, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw I saw uh, Mavic Muscles uh, cover it. Who goes this guy? Uh, another boss that turns into an enemy later. I love when love when games do that. Like you know, it'd be like a hard boss in the beginning, then all of a sudden it's fodder like later down the road. I've uh, I've told you plenty of times to go play Dark Souls because the uh, Dark Souls one does that. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a there's a two bosses that you fight that later turn into just common enemies. Like I don't know why I never like really got into those games. Like they're 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 kind of right up my alley to be honest with you. But I just I don't know I just just never picked yeah. one up. I, I I got Demon Souls and I've played that one, but that one man that one whips my ass. Yeah, well 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 you played OG Demon Souls. Yeah. The the the, the good bad Demon <laughs> uh, uh uh fucking Souls game. You know it's a it's a good game, but man is it disgustingly hard. It is. It's 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 almost like punishing yourself in a way yeah um but the uh i uh, i heard the remake was really good like like That's cool. really 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 good and i'll give him something like that yeah uh like eventually i i uh, do see myself picking up once i get you know the next gen consoles but i ain't fucked with it until <laughs> later I just can't believe you, you had a chance to buy an Xbox. Oh, yeah. yeah that's yeah. that's <laughs> literally, pretty crazy. That, that, literally that, a couple of minutes ago, a that, stupid uh, series, series X. Yeah, but, you know, you know, uh, um, um, I told you already that, you know, like right now I'm like not too crazy into new gen right now. Right. There's not really much going on. Plus, to whatever comes out, it's going to come out for uh, the previous gen. So it's it, it's honestly whatever. Like, 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 honestly, like, right, like, 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 right now, what, 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 what the fuck's coming out? Uh, man, I, I, I couldn't even like really. I don't See, even, I don't even keep up with it. Like the the, the most recent thing I probably uh, played is Returnal, but I mean, other than that, I'm not too sure what else is. You know, there's, is there an enemy? There? There's not, right? It's just go straight to the upside down castle. Sorry, my my memory's kind of rusty a little bit. It's been a while since I played Richter. So, anyways, not nah, yeah. There's really nothing I could think of. I I, I just heard this morning that uh, Halo uh, Halo Infinite has been delayed. Again? No, no, no. Wait, it, it, it's not. It's coming out, but it's it's not gonna be complete. It's gonna be missing the the Forge um, thing, and then there's there's another there's another piece of content that's gonna be missing. Oh, so it's mainly multiplayer shit, right? It, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's missing the multiplayer stuff, but it has single player campaign, but it's not gonna have co co-ops what it is. Weird. Um, yeah. yeah, because uh, 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 the Forge is like, you know, the, like the like the level maker. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, dude, uh, speaking of Halo, there was that loud as fuck dude. AC in here is... Oh, man. I mean, I could cut it off completely. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine because we would cook. Yeah, it would get pretty warm in here. Uh, but uh, speaking of Halo, uh, whenever uh, we were playing three the other day, um, later uh, later that week, I went to go watch like a full recap of of uh, of oh. the Halo lore. Nice. Just to figure out like what the fuck was going on in three. <laughs> 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 because like because like whenever whenever I played um, Halo, they were like very far. Like time spans and went uh, 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 away. Um, uh, apparently, like combat evolved. Yeah, everyone's kind of lost as to what the fuck's going on. It's it, it, it's whatever. Halo two and three are literally back to back. Um, and then apparently, I think I, uh, I think Halo Reach is like the first thing that happens. Oh really? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Uh, but uh, um, I was gonna send you the video. It's like an hour long video. <laughs> of course. Just the just the covering every uh, uh everything. I can repeat it to you, 
because it's uh, it's a lot and 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 my memory's like kind of spotchy but i like like i get it you know but uh i uh uh i just found that funny that i sat there and watched the hour-long video of, of 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 the halo lore that's cool though man i mean that's definitely something something i need to watch yeah and like I, w I wonder if there's any like videos of like like that of, of lore of Castlevania. Oh, dude, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I haven't seen them, but I've seen them on my feed. Okay. Like uh, for example, like the Castlevania timeline where someone will go sit and yeah, I've seen those. Put uh, put put every Castlevania in a chronological order. Although to be fair, like the game literally lists the time periods they take place. Yeah. So th so so that kind of makes it kind of easy, you know, like. Easier than putting a Zelda timeline again. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there it is. There's that really fucked up timeline. Um, the most recent timeline video that I watched was for uh, was for Metroid. Oh, nice. I, I like to see that. that. I bet you that's dope. All right, here we go. This is the Hippograph. Chimera thing. I believe, yeah. Technically, yeah, pretty much like a Chimera. No, no, no! It's not a camera. It's I, wonder, I wonder if I can hit him from here with the with hydro storm. You think I can? Yeah, you got like nine uses. I mean, you think it'll hit him though, because he's, he's on the screen. But uh, he, honestly, the, I bet the you, battle's not engaged. I bet right you. Now, I bet you right now he's not even registered as the enemy. Hydro yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's get him for real this time. Hydro and. And there he is. Yeah, he took it like a champ. What a what a beautiful uh, sprite, by the way. Uh, a, a character design. Also, too, this uh, this that back mural, portrait. That that thing is awesome. You get a tattoo of that on your back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Just like the same yeah. image. Uh, I'm surprised that this enemy doesn't become a recurring enemy. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that that's true. I don't think I've seen him in any other uh, any other Castlevania. That reminds me. I, I think I, I think I know what enemy you were telling me about that that was on the show, that was from. I think you said Portrait of Ruin. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I mean, I, keep, I forget his name. Is like Gurgoth or something like that, or Gur, Gur something. It starts with a G if I remember correctly. Dude, goddamn it. It, it was that that gray. That, golem. 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 No, not the golem. It was that that gray monster that that. With the with, yeah, with the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I told you. Yeah. I, when I, once I see him, I was like, holy crap. Does he? Uh, he wasn't. They didn't fight him in the previous uh, seasons, right? No, no. Did, it was just that final season. Did they fight him in the final season? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, okay. I got. I definitely gotta watch it because I want to see if he does that freaking blast out of his mouth, man. That thing. That blast is crazy. Oh wait, so uh, you didn't finish it? Oh, dude. We got like a like few more episodes to watch, and. Uh, oh, nice, burn yourself. God. I swear. Just the things you do not to get. You know, the <laughs> sub weapons that suck. <laughs> like, I probably could have just dashed through it. Oh, dude, yeah, for sure. Oh, man, there goes those devil birds that I hate so much. Every every, every bird in Castlevania just <laughs> needs to be, like, removed from existence. True. I fucking I fucking hate them, man. True. That's a really nice song here. Put you to bed. <laughs> Put you to bed. <laughs> Hmm. I wonder if there's if there's any way through that spike hallway with Ricker, since he doesn't have the oh the, the, the spike breaker the spike armor. Breaker. Yeah. Like, what if I try to like dash like? Watch, you just gonna lose life. No, yeah, I'm just gonna die. <laughs> That's a death sentence right there. But I always wonder if there's anything. Oh, of course, there's probably nothing over there. You know what? Uh, you know what's over there? Huh. Fucking hearts. Yeah, probably. I yeah, forget that lady. It's just draw oh, money for your high score. Yeah, right. Can you uh, go to the booth with uh, with Richter? No, nothing. Ha you I mean you can go in there, but nothing happens. Um. Like he doesn't sit down. Like you can see him like scoot over a little bit, like he's gonna sit down, but he doesn't sit down. Let's see, Whoop. see? Huh? <laughs> Weird. So I wonder, I wonder if that's him going to like the position of the like for the animation to start up. But since he doesn't have the files, yeah, to do I, it, I he... think that's exactly what, what what that is. Okay. Yo, I just realized uh, that light back there is uh, 3D. It's a polygon. Oh, is it? Yeah, like jump up. 
Yeah. That background was, oh, I thought the background was pretty cool. So I'm trying to remember if that door is going to be open to the Coliseum, but I don't think so. I'm going to keep just going on. There's no bosses coming up, but... I've always found the corner guards re weird. Like, what, did you lose the leg and they just stay to uh, <laughs> they lose their leg. Staying on a stair staircase? Yeah, it, it's funny, too, because even, like, the, the enemy description says, like, they're, they're masters of fighting on, on inclines or something like that, or unevil, uneven battlefield or something yeah. like that. So they're the uh, fucking uh, Obi-Wan of Castlevania. <laughs> there we go. This is always fun. <laughs> Watch that stupid spike wall. Beat these masters of, of uneven fighting ground. <laughs> yeah, beat this spike ball fool. Yeah, just a stroll in the park or down the stairs. Imagine Richter trying to uh, attach his whip to that. I'm so I'm so glad like you know they didn't go hardcore with this game with censoring it and stuff like that. Like all the religious symbols and stuff like that, and even the. the the blood oh, and man. stuff because that you know castlevania is relentless for getting hit with that i think it was part three or part four that had a lot a lot of stuff um taken out because you know i think part four has some blood and, and some crosses and stuff that they had, that got censored and stuff really? like that yeah i was like damn it's just a video game i don't know i guess it's considered heresy i guess i don't know What heresy to use holy powers to defeat evil? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like yeah. I don't know. I think I think I think we might get a the fucking ice, uh, antichrist over here, man. Yeah, right. Like, what are we showing our kids? Good versus evil. So you're telling me you're uh, you're not for um, banishing, you know, darkness? <laughs> I think I think I think I think you, sir, need God. Yeah, right. <laughs> Can you truly play Castlevania and not know uh, uh, Bible verses? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, hell, what's his face? Spats one out in the beginning of the game. Let me see. So, yeah, I need to go downstairs. Which is in the marble guy. I got, I got, I, I will say I love the, the momentum that you have for a Richter. Like everything's so fast and so fluid with them. And yeah. it's and it's weird because like with the with the, with the later um Castlevania entries, like it's not like that. Yeah, you, it, Dude, you lose that, yeah. It's it's not like that at all. It's 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 like if you take your you know your generic Belmont and just put them in a big map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. What can I say? Good game design, yeah. Like, 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 literally, like, don't run for a bit. And then you got every other Castlevania installation. Yeah, pretty much. Wow, amazing. Exhilarating. And then you start hauling ass. Now, I say, I say, uh, Circle of the Moon kind of has that momentum. Kinda. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, because there there is a run that you get in, in Circle of the Moon. I forgot about that. And you get it pretty early too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, you do. Which is kind of shocking because like I, I I've noticed that in a lot of uh, Metroidvanias that they don't give you like a sprint ability until like way later. You get it pretty early in Super Metroid, I remember. The running boots or the, what is it called? The turbo the boots or speed, whatever. The or speed booster or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't remember how they did Super Metroid that minute yeah me either i mean that that game right there like i i started and i always just like stop and i don't play it for a long time but it's like it's really fun as hell I, yeah I, I yeah you just have to get that uh that like not not feel but like that that thirst quenched oh yeah fat jam right here yes a, a vibe definitely a good one like real chill real laid back you know Nothing in no no sense of impending doom or anything. <laughs> you know, just casually killing the undead with holy powers. Nice. 
even though we really don't need those. Honestly. You know, I will, I will say, I did, uh, a, I did attempt to do... That, uh, that last one doesn't break open, does it? No, no. no. At least I don't think so. I'll double check, but I don't think it does, yeah. I will say, I did try to do a, a Richter run without collecting those lives up. And yeah. Then, forget it, dude. Forget it. It makes the, the game is so hard after that. Like, literally, like, one hit from whatever, like, will take down, like, maybe 80% uh, uh, of your life <laughs> <laughs> It actually turns it into Rondo Blood. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. I was, I was, uh, uh... Joking, I was like, man, we should play, we should play Run of Blood, uh, and then, and then, and then segue into, uh, into Shift of the Night, night. Actually, with Richter. Actually, it would be kind of cool. I mean, I, I like Run of Blood. Run of Blood's pretty cool, and yeah. that, that was one I, I didn't get to play, like, as a kid, and I should have, you know, well, that, that was a real good one. Well, if you're, uh, if you're down for it, you know, we, uh, we could always do it. That game's kind of short. Yeah, well, it's not that it's, long. What, six levels, I think? Yeah, like it's that. short if you're good. Yeah. Which, 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 for, 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 uh, for Run of Blood, I fucking suck at Run of Blood. That game's hard for me. And it's so funny because, uh, you know, what you call it, what you call it, it's easier for you and I, I can't even get to yeah. Chronicles. Yeah, yeah, I can play Chronicles. Yeah, fun. that's because, uh, 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 you downloaded it on the PS3 and I jacked it and downloaded <laughs> it on my, uh, on my PSP, so I just played the fuck out of it. Good game though. It, yeah, it really is a good game. Got a crazy ass soundtrack, and it's literally Castlevania One done by you know uh, uh, Kojima, uh, the artist for Castlevania. So you got Pretty Boy Simon instead of Manly Man. Barbarian Simon. Yeah. I will say though the um, I think the the game they have on that one, the original one. Not the arranged version. I think the original one was the one that came out on the uh, MSX or something yeah, like that, or the PC yeah. PC engine. I think it was. And then. And it, it was a remake too. I think it might have been the, one of the first remakes of uh, of that game. No, I take that back. I think I think Super Castlevania Four was probably the first remake of, of the first one. Yeah. Um, Let me see. Castlevania has had like I want to say four remakes, roughly. Something like that. But but. Rondo Blood has had quite a few as, two, uh, as well. Well, I, I think it's just just that one from um, that came on the PSP for Chronicles. Really? The, the, the 3D remake. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think there was another remake after that or before that. Which to me, that's a proper remake. I kind of wish they would have done that with uh, with other Castlevania titles. Like I wish, I kind of wish they would, they would re remake like the NES trilogy. That, that you know, well, I mean, we just talked about remakes of Part One, but like Part Two, I think would would be nice to have a remake to it. Because I mean, that that game, it, it's it's fun, it's cool, but you know, it's of, of course. Game walking for that. Yeah, that's thing. that's the only thing I hate is that every time I play it, I have to pull up a walkthrough because I don't I don't remember where everything's at and what time to do things. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget how to you know I forget where to crouch or I forget you know. Remember to stand on these two pixels. Exactly, it's just it's so cryptic, man. It's like, but I mean, it, it does to me. It doesn't take away from the game, you know. It's like, oh no, no, it uh, adds to its like, charm for, for sure because the game so handles pretty fucking great. Yeah, handles better than one. Stupid eight skeleton. <laughs> If I if I ever heard the soundtrack live, I would actually cry due to, due to how, how how beautiful it how is. How beautiful, yeah. And it's funny too because I was, we're listening to one of these songs, and I was just gonna tell you, man, imagine like you're at a restaurant and there's a band covering this tune yeah, I, or I, something I, like I, that. I I fucking ball my eyes out. And that that's one that's been like kind of like a a little like dream of mine, like you know to start like a band and just do nothing but covers, you know, just not just Castlevania covers, but like. You know, covers from all kinds of games and stuff like that, you know? And just, you know, just start throwing them out there. Just, you know, don't even, like, don't even, like, try to advertise what, you know, kind of band you are. <laughs> just show up. Just start, start just showing up. Or just start, start doing playing, all like, these video game covers. Or like that. You know? I mean, that'll throw people off, you know? And the true the true heads will be like, oh, okay, okay. I've had that actually happen to me once. For, I, uh, for what? It, it, I went to a, a metery. And, and uh, a, what? a meadery. What the hell was that? <laughs> Basically, it's just a place that, that that makes mead. I don't know if you know oh, if you okay. know what mead. Yeah, you know what mead is. So yeah. So uh, while we were there, there was a guy playing a guitar. Yeah. 
So he out of nowhere, he's like playing like some I don't I don't know what it is. I couldn't recognize it in the music, but all of a sudden he busted out with Gerudo Valley. What? And I was <laughs> like, what is going on right now? That's, I was I was impressed. I was, and it, it was it, the, you know he played his own style and stuff, and it, it sounded pretty cool. And you know, I was the only one like really cheering and freaking out about it too, because there wasn't a lot of people there, but. But I was the main one, like applauding, you know, standing up and stuff. And I told him to play Zelda's Lullaby or something. I forgot. It was either that or Epona's song. It was one of those two Did songs. Did he? No, he didn't. He Aww. just kind of laughed. And he's all like, oh, no. I think he should have. Like, just do a whole Zelda set, dude. You will get the fattest tip of your life. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's 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 actually fucking amazing. I, I would kill to hear something like that. When's the last time you listened to uh, the mini bosses? The mini bosses. It's been a fat minute, but on the on like 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 it like it it hasn't been like five years. It's been like you know just like a, a couple of years since I've uh, listened to them. Because uh uh for uh, for those of you who don't know um uh the mini bosses are these like old like two thousand era uh rock rock like almost metal style. Yeah, yeah, um, I say yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like metal. It's not, it's not too too heavy though. It's still rock. I yeah, mean. where they where they go through and uh, and uh, do uh, covers of songs. And the cool thing about mini bosses is that whenever they 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 do a cover of a video game uh, song, it 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 keeps its originality. It keeps yeah. its uh, identity. Because I like like that person me. I, I don't like listening to a, a a lot of covers or a lot of. Um, remixes because a, a lot of the time they just take the tempo of it or not the tempo but the uh, I I guess the theme of it and just like feel like fill it out to the max and just kind of overdo it and yeah and, definitely definitely a lot of people go that route and these guys yeah it's like it's easily identifiable as soon as they start playing that first note it's like you already know what it is yeah you know, and it's you know these guys been around for a long time, but I haven't. I don't think I've seen anything recent from them. No, I think I think I uh, I think they stopped completely. Yeah. Um, Which because, sucks, man, because that'd be cool to catch them live. Yeah, because uh, uh they've uh, they've actually done like live shows and uh, shit before. There he is. Sorry, we gotta wait for this stupid ape skeleton. Come on. Uh, in the meantime, just fucking chill. You know, I'm doing this right now. I could probably do this later, but I'm not even gonna go down here right now. Stupid attack. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? Donkey Kong skeleton. Oh. So I think next is gonna be the the that. worm skillet. Be the next boss on the list. You know, uh, that's supposed to be like, uh, like, uh, like an old. I I don't know if it's a god or just just like a. I uh, I know it's like you know like 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 a a like a old fashioned um. See, I, I always, man's like fucking. I always thought tail. it had, it had something to do with with like the kraken or something. You know, I I wasn't sure about 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 her but no but she does like take down ships and shit like that Same yeah the Kraken. yeah but i mean the dog hits kind of throw me off i'm like yeah that is a bit weird like, what's going on with that I was like, she, she part dog or something imagine how that smells oh wet dude wet dog, <laughs> giant wet dog. <laughs> i've never i've uh, never even actually considered that <laughs> <laughs> What dog and snake, eel? Oh, yeah, dog and tentacles. That'd be a weird combination. So I think there's not much down here. Yeah, you can't go this way because. Uh... Oh yeah, just catch me do a critical on a bat. <laughs> just watch it explode. I like, I like, I like how, you know, whenever they ported the sprite over, they kept the headband and and uh, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because because it is portraits whenever he's talking like yeah it's not <laughs> it's not there i've always found that like weird yeah i don't know why they did that but yet yeah, in the uh saturn version they he actually looks like what his what his portrait yeah. pictures look like yeah he does it's it's funny there 
Here we go, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Beat the game. Go to sleep. God loves you, Harvick. You could just breathe in the water. Yeah, right? Wish I could run underwater like that. Like, Jesus Christ. Imagine how strong you gotta be just to run underwater. Pot roast was, used to be over here. I kind of wish they did give him the option to like pick up items and use them. You know? Yeah, see, that's that's what I felt like was lacking uh, for, from this mode was like just to carry around like miscellaneous shit. Good night, sweet queen. God, fucking Hydra Storm, man. Dude, I know, man. Dude, why is it so powerful? You would think Grand Cross is uh, where it's at. Right, right. That's that's my you know natural you know thought you know thought process, but no. You know, uh, whenever whenever they uh, announced uh, Victor and Belmont uh, for a uh, first match, what's he meant? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, and a uh, Simon. Did the Grand Cross? I was like, oh, that's cool. Now Richter has to do Hydra Storm. Oh. I'm sad that uh, uh, Richter doesn't do Hydra Storm I know, for, dude. Uh, for his uh, ultimate. That would have been the perfect ultimate for that game. But whatever, you like, can't you you can't have everything you want. I mean, just imagine, you know, you, you unleash that on a stage of eight players. Everybody's done. That's why they didn't edit because they, <laughs> they yeah knew because it, it would just hit full screen. It actually be kind of busted. <laughs> But it would have been fun. It would have been cool. It's been a long time since I played Smash. Like after, I think I think the last time I played it was probably maybe like a month ago, just to see what was up with um, well, who's the character they just released. Kazuya. Uh, Kazuya, yeah. Yeah, I, I wanted to see what was going on with him, and, and I happened to play um, a little bit of uh, Pyra and Mithra a little bit. Oh man, I love, I and love th them. those two chicks, man. They're they're extremely broken. I'm like. Like I was playing it, you know, and, and literally I was just juggling the AI. Uh, I find was... that I find that funny that you actually say that. Um, they're not that bad. <laughs> uh, you know the the current character that's like still talked about that's kind of fucking busted is Joker. Oh yeah, Joker's super busted. Joker. I like, but I like using Joker though. He's so cool. Yeah, that's that, that, that that's the sad part for people who who genuinely enjoy Joker and Persona. Uh, it, it, it is, is it Joker's but, but you know you don't really care about that because, because you're not like really around the competitive scene like 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 I am. Yeah. Which which I like. Uh, I love that. But what am I doing? I'm so retarded. Yeah, man, Hydra Storm. Ah, uh, come on. There you go. Wow. There you go. I like I like how uh, Cerberus's heads rotate like a Gatling gun. Yeah. Maybe we can't go through that switch. See here, if you had, you know, diagonal whip abilities, you could. Right? That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, yes, Victor, throw a bottle at a, <laughs> <laughs> at a small child. That's what I was thinking. I was like, just the <laughs> shattering glass on her. <laughs> oh, okay. We took that to the face. Oh, oh wait down. a minute. <laughs> I don't think there's any of those those health canisters here, but I do want to set up this uh, this warp right here. Which these warp rooms are has always you know as as when I was younger they always been kind of curious you know it's like they just look like just the design of it this gate you know it's like crazy looking. I mean, what are those things on the side? Are those dragon heads or something? I mean, I can see the dudes with the pitchforks. I don't know. I, I think I think they're fish. It, right? That's what I was thinking. Like some kind of fish head or something like that. And look at the debris on the ground. Are those bones. That's a skull, right? Bones and like like. Stone, but I've always found it kind of cool how like anytime you go teleport somewhere, yeah, they it hits into the debris and then it drops it off to uh, uh to, to where, where you're at. at. Yeah, that's that is that's a cool little detail. I don't think I've ever seen any type of warp room uh, uh do that actually. In any of the Castlevanias, right? Besides uh, this one? No, I mean like as a whole. Oh, and but it, yeah, you're right. But uh, but to be fair, there there really isn't another like safety of the night. Oh, Unless you on. count like, you know, like the DS games, but yeah. like, but even then, like they're still not like the same, because like because like some of these environments, like you could sit and kind of chill in, yeah. with with a lot of the environments and uh, Portrait of Ruin, um, Circle of the Moon, uh, Art of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, a lot of the rooms and uh, 
maps that you, like it like it forces like you're constantly moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, the the one that I feel like maybe is different is uh, Order of Escalia. I have to pronounce it. Oh, Ecle Ecclesia, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. But that one I I have yet to actually play. Man, really, it's a really good one. I, I haven't beat that one. Jokingly, but... jokingly, I tell myself I should do a uh, a, a a series on it. Yeah. Just just for the fun of it. <laughs> because it'd be funny seeing the like DS screen split. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, 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 but, but I would do some like editing, uh, wizardry where I would just cut the top screen off and oh, okay. show the bottom screen. Where are the actions at? Yeah. You don't you don't need the map. You don't need enemy info or anything like that. No, I'll just like flip it on and off for like the occasion just to show it off. Uh, whenever it's needed. So are you ready for the legion? Legion. Oh yeah. <laughs> Which I don't think that's his name in this game. It's, really? He's. It's called something else. Um, we'll take a look right now when we when we get there. And by the way, I, I do like this song too. This song's pretty cool. Rainbow Cemetery. I've always found its name funny because it's like there's nothing rainbow about this. I always thought it referred to the the skeletons being like different colors and stuff, you know. But that's not until the Upside Down Castle where you start seeing the red oh, and the yeah, yellows the, like, and the greens, yeah. which we just saw not too long ago. Where's the blue skeleton? Yeah, right. Freaking gremlins. You know what's weird is that uh, uh, in the Upside Down uh, Castle is that there uh, there's a green skeleton. But, um, Ooh. he's just a bloody skeleton. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but, but meanwhile, also in the Upside Down Castle, there's another green skeleton that shoots lightning. <laughs> which is like, okay, whatever. Oh, the Nova skeleton. Yeah. That's a really cool enemy type right here. Also, what's up with the Gravekeeper knowing Kung Fu? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, even in his description, it says he's a master of unarmed combat. I hate these guys. These guys Whoa. do so much damage. Yeah, I know. They suck. And a uh, Portrait of Ruin, unnecessarily strong for some reason. Sucks you only get to see the guy like twice, maybe. What, this dude? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember where else he pops up at. I don't remember. But he's pretty tough, too. Yeah, and... He does some uh, pretty good damage. Um... His uh, his method of attack where he throws his fucking spinning yo-yo is uh <laughs> spinning yo-yo. <laughs> it's, uh, it's I mean pretty technically good. yeah that's, oh, no, kinda, that's kinda what it is. Oh, no, wait. Go back to that room. I've always thought that was Mewtwo in the background. Uh, who? Mewtwo. I mean oh, yeah you're right like the color scheme kind of looks like kind of looks pretty close to it. Always, you know, I never really actually looked at that to be honest with you. Like, what what the hell is going on there? It's it's it looks like some type of like sleeping demon and like a, like a, like a crystal or something like that. You know? Oh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Look at Richter looking at it too. Yeah. <laughs> like even these backgrounds are pretty cool. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh my god. Ah, right, we'll just keep going. I still gotta appreciate the uh, the lava moving. Yeah, right. With its, with its PS2 graphics. <laughs> you know, it's 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 funny because you can often forget, you know, that this is a PS uh, a, a a PlayStation game, uh, Saturn game. You know, because the sprite art is is uh, done so well. Oh lord. But like like. Like up until you see like you know the polygons and whatnot, you're like, oh yeah, I forgot this is an old game. So I guess I guess maybe I should apologize for some of my outbursts because I will, I will say like you know cuss words here and there. I don't want anybody to think I have Tourette's or something. But sometimes when I play, I'll get into it and you know if I'm dodging. I'll be like, oh, uh, I'll grunt or something. Oh no no no. Here we go. <laughs> have you ever listened to me this whole time? Like like saying fuck every other like word. <laughs> that's true. That's just that's just part of my dialogue at this point. There we go. Wow, uh, I expected it to, to take out the, the outer shell, but not the, the core. But no, I do I do that all the time while playing. Like, like even even whenever I do episodes or, or uh, uh, casually playing by myself, 
as a, as it were, where I'll get hit and be like, ooh. <laughs> it's habit for me, man. I always, I've always done that. It's a demon again. Yeah, I just do it because it's fun. Yeah. It, uh, it's fun and it's immersive. Definitely. That's the that's the main thing right there. Is, is immersive. Uh, Victor has the uh, the downward kick, right? No, he doesn't. Weird. That must have been something they added for Smash or something. I think. Yeah. I don't, uh, does any Beaumont have or like a downward kick? Yeah. Oh, um. Jonathan, never mind. Oh, he's not technically Obama, but yeah. See, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce uh, the guy from Harmony of Destinies. I've always said Juste because you know, Juste. I, because I make fun of you know, not make fun of, but you know, I try to imagine what it would sound like saying it in Japanese. But I think it's just right or juice or something. It's something like that. But anyways, he has it. He has a downward kick. You do a double jump and you press down and he goes straight down. Oh, okay. okay. That 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 dude right there though has got to be about to be one of my favorite Belmont though, so, like hands down. Have you played that one yet? How many uh, distances? How many distances? How many distances? That's, it, was, it was a GBA game. No, no, no. Um, ah. I played a little bit of it, but I never really sat down and played it. That's the that's the deal with the with the red and white. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, color I, I really like his 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 design. It, to me, it's always looked pretty cool. But um. Man, that game is that game is you know it's 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 got its flaws you know I'll say that you know a lot of people complain about like the the way the music sounds but uh, I think that yeah was, that's that's that was dude, also that was also an Ega game too Harmony Har uh, Harmony of Destinies is definitely the one uh, one of the ones that has slipped from me I I I often forget about that one which is weird I don't know why yeah I don't I don't know I don't I mean e even me I, I like it took me a while to go back to those games. Now, man, oh man, I can't believe how just ridiculously expensive some of those games have gotten, man. Especially on on the, the handhelds. Like I think Order Order of Ecclesia is getting up there too. I think it's over a hundred dollars now, according to to Game Eye. But I mean, like, oh, crap. There was one I was looking at the other day. I think was is ridiculously priced. I want to say it might have been Dracula X. Like complete in box was going over like for like fifteen hundred or something like that. Uh, Thousand dollars, yeah. I, I, I was gonna, so I was gonna uh, theorize, you know, something like that. Or, uh, like honestly, it, it's getting out of control, bro. Like I mean, like that's 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 how the stupid video game market is nowadays. It's it's fucked. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. It's, it's oh, there goes the pizza. The, <laughs> the giant pizza. <laughs> I do like his blast, that the skeleton cannon or whatever. Oh yeah, skull, yeah. And how he charges it and just throws it out there, and it kind of just the ball just stays there. I thought that was, I always thought that was cool. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, show it off. Let the get in front of him. Oh, why did I do that? Uh. Wrong button. Well, the good thing about Castlevania is that enemies <laughs> respawn, <Yeah. laughs> and I can get in front of him properly. You know, you know what game we should have played? Huh? Fucking uh, uh, the first Castlevania. Yeah. Limit of Innocence. Limit of Innocence. Actually. <laughs> but see, you, the... you knew exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> that one's on on the on the PS. Woo! There it goes. Uh, two though, you think that would have worked out for us uh, with this setup? Uh, no, no, sadly no. Like I mean, we I mean the PS3 is is, is uh, backwards compatible. Oh yeah, yeah no, oh, uh, we could have done it. Yeah. And yeah, maybe maybe next time. Because <laughs> I, I, I do, I do like that game, dude. That that game is so cool. Soundtrack on that one is equally badass as this one. It's super unique. Mm -hmm. And plus, it gives you the the whole like origin story too, which is also cool, you know. Oh, yeah. And it's actually canon. Yeah. I I never would have imagined that Lament of Innocence would have lasted throughout the years as a <laughs> as a canon Castlevania. You know, I figured that that uh, they would have you know like kept it you know medieval. Yeah. Yeah. Medieval or retro or whatever, because like a lot of those like PlayStation games just kind of get written out. True. But it, but it's really cool that uh, Leon Belmont is, you know. And he and he was on that the the freaking anime. I thought that was so freaking badass when when you see him chilling, dude, chilling dude, in the background. I lost, I was I like, lost I my lost, shit. I, so did I. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I was like, that is so badass. And it looks just like him. Yeah, exactly. Just like him. I'm like, wow. They should do a mini series just to cover like, 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 like how he founded. 
Yeah. Like, like, uh, do a fucking uh, uh, OVA. Uh, OVA, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. That, that would be so cool. Just to show off Leon. Mm-hmm. So they take so many hits. For no other reason. Yeah. Just unnecessarily tanky. <gasps> so, okay, I think I'm ready to go to the Colosseum. I believe it's going to be the next area I need to conquer. Yeah, let's go to the Colosseum. Which, of course, is... Hands down, gotta be one of the dude best songs in the game. Well, maybe not the best song. It's up there. It's I I it's, don't I, I don't know. It might be. I think I think it's my best song. It's in it's in high regard. I will say that. It's a, it's it's a crazy ass song. This is yeah. We'll we'll, we'll start here. This is kind of close, but not really. Uh, CD? You mean Count Dracula? <laughs> it's funny too when you when you had, were talking about it earlier. Like I, I remember, you know, having conversations with people back in the day about it. Like, what does that mean? Is it talking about the CD <laughs> or does it, it has like a like like a it CD does. shape it above have, it? it does, I, I guess because it was that you know it was still early on in the in the PlayStation's life, you know, and, and games were on disc like that. There was kind of like you know, I don't know, like just saying here here's the future, you know, it's on a CD, you know. That uh, that a uh, PlayStation Black Disc. Oh man, you gotta love those discs. And it's funny too, cause like they actually released like uh, audio CDs, like recordable CDs that were black like that. I don't know if you ever seen them. I don't think I have like actually. The, the CDR CDs or whatever. I've, I've seen. I've, the, I've bought I've, a couple in my, my life. In I think I've seen like the blue discs. Oh, the blue discs. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. The PS2 purple disc. Yeah. <laughs> I still find it weird that sometimes unscratchable, unscratchable. It's, I find it weird that, that even even like those games for some reason my my PS2 won't really read those. Like it has a hard time reading those blue discs. I don't know what it is. Is that the the fat one or the slim? The fat one. Ah. Uh. That reminds me too. Like this is just like so off topic, but it made me think about the the other day. Now where it wasn't even the other day. It was probably like months ago. I fired up uh, Capcom versus Tatsunoko on the Wii. Yeah. And for some reason uh, it was slept on, slept on game. <laughs> I slept, it's totally, man. <laughs> like, severely slept on. But um, like it, it didn't want to boot up on the Wii. Like it, it just it, it it would like it would like when you go to the the main uh, panel that shows the disc, it would spin and like load, but the game never started. So, really? Yeah. It, it would take me several tries to. You know what other game does that? Brawl does that too. And I never figured out why the hell it, it does that. Like, I remember, I'm, I will say, if you do a little research on Brawl, there was issues of that because there was, there's like uh, two different versions of the Wii. Like, the first models that came out mm -hmm. for some reason won't read it, but another, the second batch that came out will read will read Brawl. But mine, like, will, will I don't know, it's, my, it's weird what mine does. Like, it, it, it'll sometimes read it off the bat. Other days, it'll just be like, no, we're not doing this today. Is yours the first batch? Yeah, right? Uh, yeah, because I, I got it like I got it super early. Like, I don't even think the Wii was out, but like maybe a year at max before I got my Wii. So it was still kind of, kind of, kind of early on. Fresh, yeah. Yeah. Most sold uh, console, I think, ever. Oh, yeah. Fucking Wii. I, w I wonder if uh, the Switch will ever I'll sell it. The Switch? Fuck no. I doubt it. Yeah, you know, you're right. You're right. To this day, I still think the 3DS is better. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Man, that's on the, funny. On the low, on the low. Low key. Yeah. That's hilarious, bro. Like, like, like I actually enjoy playing my 3DS more than I do playing on the Switch. See, like, that, that, that's funny, too. And, and, like, I've been, I've been... But, like, hold on, hold on. It, it doesn't help that I'm playing, like, emulators on my, <laughs> on my 3DS. <laughs> but, like, but, like, it's just, like, so much more smaller. And, you know, it, like, it... It feels right whenever you're laying on your stomach at your pillow, like under your like neck, just arms in front of you. Yeah. Like it's just so much more comfortable than the Switch, I think. Yeah, I can feel that. I can feel that. I, like, I, I can compare that to like when I play my Vita or something. I do feel like the Vita is more, it's more manageable than the Switch. I feel the Switch is a little over cumbersome. Yeah. It's just I don't I don't know what it is, but. But yeah, I can I can I can. Maybe it's because it's got like no actual weight to it or. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's the placement of the Joy-Cons or like the way like 
it's funny you said it because I've, I've been like highly contemplating get, getting a 3ds because I, I I don't know if I told you I want to play that that mercenaries game that was oh, <laughs> released yeah, on yeah. the 3ds. <laughs> It's such a weird reason to get a 3DS, but that's why I want a 3DS. Uh, apparently, it's pretty good. Like, yes. like, 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 not like you know, n n nothing, nothing. But not know. like next level or anything. Yeah, like it's that, just, it's know. just shockingly good for a mercenaries game, a Resident Evil mercenaries. A mercenaries on the... only. It's like, why would you, why would you do that, Capcom? Because, what, what? because RE5 mercenaries is <laughs> fucking. It was too good. <laughs> they, they had a profit off of it. That's true. But but here's the thing though. It, it makes no sense because it's like it's like. If Mercenaries was that good that they put it on 3DS, why did they do a proper port to to main console or do like a main like 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 like, like, like just like, like a, just a solid Mercenaries game for like the console at the time for the for the 360 for the PS3? Yeah, and it could have been DLC. It yeah. could have totally been DLC. With 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 the, with the extra maps with the with the characters, it could have just all been DLC. You're right. Mm -hmm. Because uh, with the with the later DLC for like Barry and uh, Rebecca, they were DLC. Right. You know, why, why couldn't that have been DLC as I well? For, I forgot about that. And it's, it, uh, it sucks because RE5 Mercenaries <laughs> so fucking good. It's so good. It's sad that we'll never, ever... Yeah. ever get a mercenaries like that the only thing that i think that is like bad about re5 mercenaries is that there's no character themes like oh, re4 it's just level themes you're right you're right yeah that's another drawback but i mean still it's a you know so you can look over that yeah. i mean it's not i i i also wish for mercenaries that there was like different modes like 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 for example i wish there was like like uh like a infinite mode yeah. For like, just go to see Keep how going. long you can survive. Until you die or you give up or something. Yeah. And and I'm going to assume that yes, you could probably like survive like forever. But I think I think I think if if they did make that, uh, they should have like enemy scaling to where like like the enemies get harder and harder as you uh, uh continue going. Yeah, definitely. You want to point at the clock for those who don't notice? There we go. Hey, oh, yeah, no, yeah. What I told you earlier yeah. about how there's the Roman numeral four is is, is, is incorrect. Blew my fucking mind. And yeah, it's supposed to be IV. It's just four lines. So wait, so wait, how, like, 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 so it's it's one, two, three, and then four lines, and then five, right? No, no, it's it's, it's one, two, three, then the IV, then the V, then, yeah, the, yeah, then yeah. the VI, yeah. Okay, so they got the rest right, but they just fucked. The yeah, they just four. fucked up that, that that one right there, which is weird. I don't know why they would they would do that. It's got to be like it's got to be like a translation thing, or I don't know. I don't, I, I don't have an explanation for that. And here goes uh another good song. Another good song. Yeah, before, before we get to another good song. <laughs> <laughs> it's like listening to your favorite band. You know, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you. Uh. But, but you said the last four songs were a good song. Well, this is another good song. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're always going to probably make it seem like the, the next song or the last was better than the last song. But it's like, it's just, it, with this game, it's just, oh my God. You know, it's like, you think, you think you've, you said it once about one song, but there's always another song that comes up you kind of forgot about. Yeah. It's like, man, that song is a good song. Yeah. It sucks because like because like, I, I like I know for a fact no one uh, who is watching this doesn't know Castlevania Symphony of the Night soundtrack. Everyone fucking knows it and they yeah. know it's good. They yeah. know it's good. But like like we're still gonna be like, yo, shit's fire. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're gonna give credit where credit is due. You know? Yeah. Oh right, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> this, this fucking song, man. Let's have our geek out moment real quick. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta put both 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 earphones on. There you go. Get the full get the full effect. I'm gonna sure turn my audio a little bit. <laughs> so I, I will say I I kinda kinda I don't say I should wish, but like I kind of feel like we should have played like the the original the original disc, you know, the, the PS1 disc. I mean, this is the 
PSP version, but or the Japanese version, I guess it would be. Yeah, I thought, I thought, I thought that's what we were actually gonna do. We uh, should, you know, you should have stopped me. You should have said, <laughs> you know what, let's do. But you, to be honest with you, I don't think I have a save file on the PS3 that that has Richter unlocked. Now I think about it, so we would have to beat it again. But we would have to beat it probably from the beginning. God damn. Yeah. No. No. Screw that. To be honest with you, when we did it earlier, that was the fastest I've ever done that really? ever. Really? Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, I think I think getting that fucking sword, the the, the stupid, it helped. Yeah. The Crystal Grim, yeah, that that definitely helped. And it's so funny that, that it, it gave us an achievement for doing that. I, that that right there tripped me out. Um, I'm still wondering why I gave you an achievement for that. So I think I think there's probably they know about that sword. They know getting that sword oh, just makes hey. the rest of the game just. That's why I said it's the the achievement was called uh, on Shmoo control or I think it was I think it was something like that. Yeah. Going on on Shmoo control because it's technically yeah. Yeah, you just sleep in the way through. After you get that sword right you, there, you just man. kick back. I mean, you saw how the well, I, I beat Dracula with the with the shield, but I mean, even then. I forgot about that. The that stupid was, shield. Even that that's funny as, as hell to do. That big old bag of money for nothing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a thousand dollars for nothing. Oh, but it goes towards your 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 high score. Oh, but it might go towards you know your uh, uh your lives that you will never get. <laughs> but they still have the counter there because they fucking poured the stupid the sprite for they couldn't make a new life bar for Richter. Ooh, one over. Really cool night, by the way. The the all night. The all night, yeah. Look at that freaking skeleton just chilling back there. Legs yeah. open and stuff. He's all relaxed and stuff. Mr. Kung Fu. Chilling in his uh, uh, in in a pool spring. water, yeah. That water looks good. I'd drink that. It's all glowing blue and shit. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Man, so, like, so, like, every instrument in this fucking song has its own breakdown. <laughs> the fucking jazz guitar, the weird piano thing. The weird piano thing. Um, the drums. Yeah. The, I think the bass too. No, 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 no. Kind of right here. Well, that's still the guitar, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the that's the jazz guitar. The bass is still kind of going in the background. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't think the bass needs a breakdown. Dun, dun. Sorry. <laughs> Had to refill my health real quick. <laughs> Get that dude. Oh, not these guys. Oh, the stupid Valhalla Knights or whatever. Yeah, we'll Valhalla Knights. Make it uh, make it easy on myself. Every cause when again, they're fucking annoying. Oh, those waifu ghosts. <laughs> Sore lady. <laughs> Kind of similar to that other guy you were reading about earlier, that uh, oh. Azagal or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that dude, was that was some cool lore. Dude, I, man. I was shocked with how much like story that 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 monster had. Right, it was just like a fodder enemy, man. It's like not even like you know noticeable. Like I completely forgot about that dude. To be honest with you. Yeah, up until uh, you got to the overworld. Yeah. So I forgot who I'm fighting. Oh, the Minotaur. Yeah. And, uh, and the freaking werewolf. The Lycanthrope. Yeah, throw back to old, to, uh... Was it Ronda Blood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool, you know? It's like, what would you consider, uh, werewolf? Like, like, European lore? I guess? Yes. And then the Minotaur is, of course, Greek. Yes. So that's kind of cool to have, you know, different cultures and, you know, stuff like that mixed together like that. Yeah, that's how uh, Castlevania has always been. Right. J right. Just a weird amalgamation of uh, folklore, I guess. Yeah, different folklore from different countries and different parts around the world. But like, but like, it's funny because it, because it's mainly European based. Yeah, exactly. Fighting, fighting, you know, werewolves and then going off to kill to kill Medusa. Yeah, there you go. What? Wow. Okay. You don't fight them? All right. I guess not. Alright, whatever. That's weird. Not important to me. 
<laughs> yeah, a Giga Chad Richter, not important to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, so now we can go to Homeboy, Homeboy's Quarters, Orlocks. It was cool that they added him to um, Lord of Shadows. That was, I thought that was really awesome. He's not what I expected, though. I mean, yeah. But he, it was still cool that they put him in there. Like in this in this game, he's he's like super cool. I think he's like one of the most badass you know enemies in the, or bosses in the game. <laughs> Man, you just show up and he's just chilling. Yeah, he's sitting there just at his table, just like what's up, and the fight begins. Like, wow. I feel like I feel like they should give him like some dialogue. Yeah, that would have been dope. Should have put him in the damn show. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm actually surprised they actually didn't. Like, cause he's technically supposed to be like a general or something like that. Yeah. Hello, editor Volt here. I don't typically do this, but I did some small research on Orlocks. Um, so as we know, Orlocks originated from Sif the Night, as we talked about during the LP. But he's also referenced in Dawn of Sorrow and Arya of Sorrow, which I've kind of known. Um. Because you you can get his armor piece as uh, as a drop of item, but what I didn't know was that Orlocks had like a whole backstory, or should I say, a personality about him. Now, there is actually a light novel written about him, as you can see here. Um, there it is. Boom. Called whatever this is how however you can pronounce it but its english name is demon castle dracula uh reminiscent of the divine abyss pretty cool a cool thing about this is that it's written by narita and igarashi and igarashi as we know is one of the main directors for castlevania you know directed symphony of the night and worked on several other castlevanias but the cool thing about narita is as we can see here it's the writer for Bacchino. Um, I think he also did, uh, what was it? What was that one show called? Uh, Darara, and worked on a few episodes of Bleach, I think. Anyway, pretty good writer. So back to let's see here. Yeah, so back to uh, Orlocks was that he had a whole personality behind him, which is really cool, and the fact that uh. He was, uh, he's the main character, or not the main character, but the main villain of this light novel. Now, this light novel actually takes place, let's see here, one year after Dawn of Sorrow. That's pretty cool. So, let's, let's crack down into his personality. Orlok's personality is only described in the light novel. Uh, he is an oddity amongst among vampires, rather than revel in destructions or sadistic practices, much like you know other vampires. Uh, Orlox's motivations are mostly fueled by curiosity and thrills. He attempted to conquer both chaos and humans solely out of hypnotizing, that by controlling the hearts of humans that form chaos. It would disappear. That sentence is kind of fucked up, but let's check out what chaos is because I have yet to actually dig into it. Let's see your final boss of Arya Sorrow. Oh, okay, not right. Of Arya Sorrow, it is an entity born of humans and the source of Dracula's power. It represents the root of all the chaotic things. Okay. So basically, what that is saying that anyone who harvests evil within themselves, he would basically snuff out or take control of. So everyone can live, uh, live peacefully, which is, you know, kind of fucking cool of Orlocks here. But it's, it's also another, like, um, a moral dilemma of you can't, you know, just kill anyone you want just because they're evil. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a topic of its own and something that you could think about or discuss with your fellow Castlevania crack addicts. But let's continue reading into um, more about him. He is a master manipulator. He, uh, he utilizes uh, Graham's court as a financial lord. Uh, he utilizes Graham's court financial loyalty towards his master in order to use them to fuel his goals in creating a copy of Dracula's castle and develop his own machinations. 
So, uh, Graham's quote is actually part of RSR and Down of Sorrow. Uh, and I think he's like one of two vampires that can solely cr uh, recreate uh, Dracula's castle, which is crazy. The other one being uh, the main villain from Portrait of Ruin. I don't remember his name. Not important. Uh, let's see here. Where did I leave off? Ah. Under the promise of Graham's return, instead of looking down on humans with arrogance as most vampires do, he finds their deaths or uh, their desires and behavior to be both intriguing and dangerous. Might have read that word wrong. Oh well. Which is which is pretty cool. That's 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 really cool about about Orlax and, and and it sucks because it's it's it's, it's nothing that you would ever truly experience in a game and it's only in the light novel which is like oh it sucks i like i wish i wish they put him in a portrait of ruin uh as uh, as the main character because i thought that's who it was but it's some other dude um orlox is uh orlox is also particularly thrilled by dangerous experiences as he was excited to fight death whom he battled ferociously on equal terms remembering his battle with alucard as uh as one that particularly flared him and fearing little for uh, for his own safety even when he met his demise he wasn't mortified desperate or scared but rather satisfied that's insane a true a uh, uh, a true man, a true, a true connoisseur of, I, I, I guess a warrior's spirit. A true warrior's spirit is uh, what I'm trying to say. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Go Orlax. Let's get a round of applause for such a great guy. And for a boss that you just see chilling there. It's cool because you can get a lot of character out of him. Just from a few frames of him just sitting there and just... Slowly approaches you and begins his fight. Amazing. Alright, that does it. Sorry for the rant. We'll get back to the video. See you next time. Alright, let me get out of here. Having too much fun. Just forget what I'm, I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> <laughs> Happens all too often, sadly. Um, maybe even not whenever we're playing like a bad game or something like that. Yeah. For the channel. Because, God, when it, man, when it, whenever we play bad games for the channel, oh, man, fucking hate it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like, this hell in? Would you ever be interested in playing, this, I know this is a random question, Yeah. But would you ever be interested in playing Fatal Frame? Fatal Frame? I was actually, uh, I, 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 I low-key thought about playing Fatal Frame. I got I got part two. I don't I don't have the first one. I want to get the first one. But I think those games are, are getting pretty pricey, too. Might have to figure out how to emulate PS2 games, to be honest with you. That'd probably be the best route to go instead of having to find these games. Uh, I think... PS, uh, 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 emulating PS2 games is pretty easy now. Yeah, I, I, uh, I was reading how, I think, to, how I, to do it uh, on the I think on I the... told you, PS3 games is, 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 is getting kind of fucky. Yeah. Uh, where, where not all PS3 games run, run well. Like, for example, uh. um, Metal Gear Solid 4. Man, I could imagine emulating that game. Holy cow. I've seen it, and it's beautiful. Is it good? Oh, I, man. I, I, think it's... You, I think you did tell me about it. Man, I couldn't imagine, though, bro. It's a whole new game. <laughs> it's a whole new game. Man, I, I miss that game, dude. Like, I, I need to play it again. It's, it was just something about that game. I only played it through it once. I didn't, really? I didn't, yeah, I didn't do a second playthrough of it. Uh, I've technically played it two times that's because to like originally like play it just to you know play the game uh and then i went to play it again whenever i went to play or i uh, went to go and play um Metal Gear solid in the chronological order okay we're like we're like i would start with like uh you know, Metal Gear Solid 3, you know, I would say that I do the NES ones, but I'm like, I, I'm not going to sit there and play those. I mean, you, you could. I mean, they're not 
they're not that bad once you like watch somebody play. Like you told me, you know, you watch somebody do a playthrough or something, you can actually see what they're doing and stuff. Yeah, but like I just haven't it. had the time or patience to be. It, to be honest with you, it, it does because like a... because like because like every time that I like get an idea of uh, of learning to play those games and to figure out what to do, I'm just like I'm just gonna play Metal Gear Solid Three and have a good old time. Yeah, that's true. I mean that is that yeah, is true. Yeah, because it, because as in after after you finish three, hop into Peace uh uh Peace uh, Peace, Walk, uh, Peace Walker. Peace. Oh, the PSP games. Yeah. Yeah. There's two of them, right? There's Acid and then, and then Peace Walker. No, there's a Peace Walker, Portable Ops. And oh, that's right, Portable Ops. That, as well. That's the one I have. I have Portable Ops. Yeah, Portable Ops is pretty cool. Is it a good one? I I think I may have played like 15 minutes of that one. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's. Dude, I got so much back catalog. It's just it's ridiculous. Like I, just it sucks being an adult because you don't have no time to do this crap. Like I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to probably fo- follow the ra- the route of my dad and wait till I'm I'm retired Oof. before I start you know yeah. conquering all these games. Yeah, sadly it uh it often do be like that. Here we go. Let's do this. Man, he's tall. Oh heck yeah, he is. This dude's got cool moves too. Yeah, he does. Ooh. Oh. Wow. He just took a lot Literally, of damage he, there. He did it. He did that to me right now. I want to do it again. Yeah, for a second form. So dope, man. Oh my god. Here, you get that cool ass laser. There we go. Freaking badass death animation. Yeah. Look kind of bad, because I just rolled up on him while he's enjoying his meal. I know, right? <laughs> to be fair, I bet you he was like expecting you the whole fucking time. Oh yeah. He probably knew it as soon as it entered the castle. Yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. So I think that's pretty much it for this castle. I can go to the upside down castle because there's really not much here. Is that really it? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, because you know uh, you know what's the sucky best. You know what? That's a good question. Do, Do you get the sucky best? I doubt it because like like, like like it just seems just for out of card. Yeah, you're probably right, but I'm curious though. Let, let, let's go have a, a little look see real quick. Yeah, I, I just, just hold us down there. Um, I think you fought, you fought Legion. Uh, it's it's kind of funny because like I think we're talking a, a, like a lot, and I'm like not really paying attention to what I'm doing. I, you, you got fucking far though. Yeah. Yeah, I I actually found it like uh uh of uh, of us sitting here that like that like I've been paying attention much to what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to World of the Psychics. I'm Peter Banky. <laughs> what? What is that a reference to? <laughs> Ghostbusters oh, 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Alright, so, that, so let's go Let's go see if you can visit the Succubus. Alright. I wanted to ask you, uh, do you ever had a, a Dr. Pepper float? No. <laughs> I don't know if you're big on floats, though. No, I I, I only drink uh, root beer floats. So oh, really? Like, yeah. Okay. The one thing, the one thing I've, been, I've been wanting to do... For the longest time, but I'm like, ooh, man, I, 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 I don't want to burn a precious root beer on this. What is it? And, and that is to take a St. Arnold root beer uh-huh. and to make a float out of it. Because I, like, like I worship St. Arnold Dude, root beer. Dude, that, but that might actually be, like, the best some next thing. level <laughs> shit, bro. Like, like, straight up. You ever tried the the uh, Beta root beer? No. I had it on tap one time. It was, it was pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Like... But but not like to the point to where like it was like the end all for me for like you know like the greatest root beer ever. Yeah. Like I, I want to say I think I still prefer like IBC over over a lot of root beers. I, I don't remember St. Arnold's. I think I've had St. Arnold's like once or twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I think I've let you try it before. It's oh a it's a Texas exclusive. Yeah. Uh, root beer and it's man, fuck anyone who says otherwise. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of debate about root beers, man. I mean, a lot of people have their their own. It's it's all you know, 
like music is subject to you know your taste yeah. and stuff like that. But uh, apparently everyone agrees that uh, that a dad's root beer is uh, pretty bad. Oh, is it? Uh, oh, is, wow. it is that the name of it? Dad's Dad's root beer. It's, it, it, uh, it's like a blue and yellow label. That's like Dad's something. Hmm. I can't say I, I can recall that. It, it makes me kind of think about that. This, this ain't your your grandpa's root beer or something like that. There's that alcoholic one. I know that one tastes like crap. Really? Well, to me it did. I didn't like that one. It was like it was too like sweet, syrupy. It just didn't have the same charm as like regular root beer did. Yeah, uh, that uh, uh, that dad one is like super vanilla y. Wow. Like. Like, like you, like you're like touch vanilla extracts your tongue. No, actually, I've never, <laughs> I've never done that. Uh, don't do it. It's a horrible idea. <laughs> Time for another good idea, bad idea. All right, let's see. Oh, she's up. She's up. Gotta go. Man, I always think of something and I forgot what it was. I hate when that happens. Yeah, I do that crap a lot too. Like you have that thought right there on the tip of your tongue and it just you freaking lose it. We're hitting all these candles, I really don't even need to. Honestly. Let's see here. In uh right here. uh uh in comparison yep. to uh nope, she's not here. No, not here, you're right. How about that? All right, you want to call it there? Yeah, we can call it quits here. I mean, that's pretty much the end of this castle, and uh, this is the Upside Down Castle. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, sign us off. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll be doing another part two, finishing off the uh, uh, this run of Castlevania Symphony of the Night, the Victor run. Uh, my name is Volt. Uh, sh uh, joining me today. My name is Show. Show. And uh, you guys have a pleasant evening. All right, Reductus, check us out next time. See you later.